still Labor Day weekend. Today is Monday, which today I'm resting because I had a pretty active Labor Day weekend. I guess I would call it Labor Day weekend starting on Friday evening after work. I got a chance to go down to Chicago Critical Mass, and before the Critical Mass started, Friday at 5.30, I had enough time to stop by a friend of mine's place. He works there as a volunteer. It's called Working Bikes, and it's like a co-op where people donate their bikes, and then the co-op fixes up the bikes, resells some to make money, also donates bikes many places, including Central America. They're sending a shipment out to Africa, to Uganda, a shipment of bikes. And they've got a good philosophy, too. They're going to send the bikes out, but not, like, send perfect bikes out there. Their idea is they want to send bikes out there that are, some of them don't need to be fixed, probably, but some of them are repairable, and that way, when they get there, it gives somebody else a job. So instead of just donating a bike and giving it to someone, you also give somebody a job doing some minor repairs on it to fix it up for someone else. So I guess they rented a container, one of those ship cargo containers, and they're going to be shipping out a bunch pretty soon. But besides just the Chicago Critical Mass ride, which I got to participate in, I also, when I was at the place, picked up a nice rack from my bike. Not brand new, but you know, what the heck. Might as well be as good as new. A few little scuffs and scratches, but that's nothing. So that was pretty good. Instead of going off to the scrap heap. And it's aluminum, so it won't corrode or rust. And then while I was visiting... A friend of my friend's, he has his own little bike shop, little private bike shop, kind of. I got this. Nice premium brush metal water bottle. And these are great because if you look inside, the way the opening is on these, they're big enough. You can put chunks of ice in it. They're extra, extra large, so putting ice in it's no problem at all. Always good when you're riding a bike to take some ice water along so you don't get thirsty. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you just a few minutes of highlights of the ride itself, and then I'm going to do two parts after that of visiting the bike shop co-op. The camera angle is not the best in the world. I did have the camera pointed a little bit too high, but I think these shots that I took out here, you'll be able to get a pretty good feel of the Chicago Mass ride. If you want to learn a little bit more about of it, about it, go to chicagocriticalmass.org. Last Friday of every month, regardless of weather or anything, doesn't matter, rain, snow, whatever, last Friday of every month in Chicago, a bunch of bikes just assemble downtown, they pick a route and decide to go for a ride. Those things you can like, it's like a water bottle 
almost yeah. that you can pump up, and then then you you can you like pump it full of air, and then you can use it as an air horn. Oh, okay. They're pretty neat. You can like you pump it with a bicycle pump. Yeah. You get a couple. Look, look, look at that. I like that trick. Now, now the term mass up now would be even if it's a green light, you would stop and wait until so everyone you would like two cycles, two okay. light cycles. Every day. So, hopefully this type of a this thing happens here soon. So everyone like me. So here we got some cops. They know what's going on. Look at this guy here. He's telling that guy to stop. Thank you. Happy Friday, everybody. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday, swing and go swing. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Crystal. You, if you're not having fun, you can just go He's home now. He's from the Burbs. He's from the Burbs as well. <laughs> but yeah. you can just go home right now. Oh, this is fun. Of the suburbs. Are you sure you're having fun? I like riding when I ride my motorcycle. I like riding with at least 600 others. So this is even yeah, better. Yeah, There's I, more. I love riding my bicycle. Hey, there's BK. BK! Oh,